I would like to begin uh, by announcing some important developments in our war against the Chinese virus. We'll be invoking the Defense Production Act just in case we need it. In other words, I think you all know what it is, and it can do a lot of good things if we need it, and we will uh, we will have it uh, all uh, completed, signing it in just a little while, right after I'm finished with this conference. I'll be signing it. It's prepared to go. So we will be invoking the Defense Production Act. Last week, I signed an emergency declaration under the Stafford Act, which, as you know, we invoked previously, and which activated FEMA's National Response Coordination Center. FEMA now is fully engaged at the highest levels. Today, FEMA is activated in every region. We are at level one, level one being the highest level, which we will uh, work with, and we've been working with FEMA. I've done a lot of work with FEMA. They're incredible. Uh, it's always been on hurricanes or tornadoes. They're right now in Tennessee, a large group working in Tennessee have, have been incredible. It was a tragic event. Uh, Alabama last year, also a tornado, and then obviously the the numerous hurricanes in different locations that were, uh, in some cases, very devastating. And in every case, FEMA came through. Uh, this is a very different kind of a work for FEMA, but uh, they will come through, as they always do. We have tremendous people, tremendous talent in FEMA. We're sending, uh, upon request, the two hospital ships that are being prepared right now. They're massive ships. They're the big white ships with the Red Cross on the sides. One is called the Mercy and the other is called the Comfort. And uh, uh, they are uh, in tip-top shape. They soon will be. They're getting ready to come up to New York. I spoke with Governor Cuomo about it. He's excited about it. And I also, uh, we haven't made the final determination as to where it's going to go on the West Coast. The Comfort is uh, located now uh, in San Diego. And it's going to be, uh, we'll be picking the destination fairly shortly. So uh, those two ships are being prepared to go, and they can be launched over the next week or so, depending on need. Uh, earlier this week, the first clinical trial of the vaccine candidate for the virus began in Washington State, as you probably know. The genetic sequence of the virus was first published in January. But thanks to the unprecedented partnership between the FDA, NIH, and the private sector, we've reached human trials for the vaccine uh, just eight weeks later. That's a record by many, many months. It used to take years to do this, and, and now we did it just in a very short while. That's the fastest development in history of what we're doing with regard to the vaccine. We're making very, very big progress. Today, I can announce further steps to expand testing capacity. We're working with several groups to determine if the self-swab, a much easier process than the current process that's uh, not very uh, nice to do, I can tell you, because I did it. Uh, but uh, we have a current process that's a little bit difficult. If you haven't done, uh, the, uh, the groups are working on determining if a self-swab by an individual is as effective as the other. The other is very effective, very accurate. Uh, but uh, we're going to see if we can do a self-swab, which is uh, would be a lot more popular, I can tell you that. So, uh, And that would be administered also by a health official, but it would be a lot easier to do. The, uh, the uh, fact is that the health professionals, would it would free... It would free up a lot. Let me just say, the self-swab is what it is. It's a self-swab. You do it yourself. The other has to be issued by a, a health professional, and it's something that uh, is, is quite difficult. And we think it's working out for the self-swab. And uh, if it would test positive, the people would go, and uh, they would do what they have to do. But we think that's probably working out. I've asked the FDA to cut through the red tape and reduce regulatory barriers. Uh, we are looking at some very exciting things, and I'm going to be holding a second news conference either today. We're going to talk about the FDA. Uh, some things are happening that are quite exciting, and uh, we're going to be doing that either later today or tomorrow, fairly early tomorrow. Uh, 
so we'll see what happens. But uh, the FDA, my instructions, is I've been working very, very hard on a number of developments, and we'll be discussing them with you later today or tomorrow. And this afternoon, I'll be meeting with nurses on the front lines of the battle against the virus. They're truly American heroes. They want to get it done. They, they're incredible people. So we're going to be meeting with nurses. And uh, I actually look forward to that. They're very brave. They're taking a lot of risk, and they, uh, they have done an incredible job, and they never complain. Today, I'm also announcing that the Department of Housing and Urban Development is providing immediate relief to renters and homeowners by suspending all foreclosures and evictions until the end of April. So we're working very closely with Dr. Ben Carson and everybody from HUD. Uh, every generation of Americans has been called to make shared sacrifices for the good of the nation. In World War II, young people in their teenage years volunteered to fight. They wanted to fight so badly because they love our country. Workers refused to go home and slept on factory floors to keep assembly lines running. And, you know, the numbers of ships that they built during World War II to this day has never, nothing like that has ever been equal. They were doing ships uh, on a, literally on a daily basis. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. And to this day, nobody's seen anything like that, what they were able to do during World War II. And now it's our time. We must sacrifice together because we are all in this together and we'll come through together. It's the invisible enemy. That's always the toughest enemy, the invisible enemy. But we're going to defeat the invisible enemy. I think we're going to do it even faster than we thought. And it will be a complete victory. It'll be a total victory. Uh, so we'll have a second conference, again, having to do with the FDA and this. I think it's going to be potentially a very exciting uh, news conference, uh, and we will do it as quickly as we can, so whether it's today or tomorrow. And I'll, uh, with that, ask Mike Pence to say a few words, and uh, thank you very much.